Hey guys, Mouse here and welcome back to the channel. In today's video, another casual kind of video where I am talking about some more books I got from Five Below for roughly five dollars. Some of them are a little bit cheaper and this time it's for the artists out there. Um, or just the creative type really out there. And uh, I saw these books and I, I collected them over a couple of months. And yeah, this is my little collection. And let's see, I got this out of order actually because I wanted to show you what started it all. This one right here, let's see, here, let's push you back. I hope nothing falls. <laughs> this one right here, do I have it on the screen? Yep. This one right here is the one, oh no, I don't, I don't want to just pull it down a little bit. <laughs> Um, this one right here is the one that started it all for me. The Moodles Presents Stressed. Moodles are doodles with the power to change your mood. And as you can see, this one was $3.50. And this was when my anxiety was really, really high. And I thought, oh, I'll get this. And when I'm really anxious, I'll do doodles. And this was when I got on my coloring book kick to, oh my goodness, wait until I share my coloring book collection with you guys. I had to cut myself off, even though there's some awesome coloring books out there that I love and would love to buy, but I have to cut myself off now until I finish out some of the books I have. But um, that's a video coming up. But back to this one. So this is the one that started it all for me when I saw this at Five Below. So basically what this is, is like, focus on the big picture, complete the drawing. And like, you got this, like a little chain with a hook and this crank, and you gotta get creative and draw something on here. Or this one, that's like, according to Zen philosophy, the key to inner peace is to consider things from every angle. Pick an object and moodlet, oh, and moodlet it <laughs> from nine different angles. So, you know, whatever you pick, yeah, you just go from nine different angles and draw it. I mean, so creative and so like relaxing, you know? Um, let's see here. This one, draw your worries floating away in this balloon or on this balloon. I mean, just, you know, I, I think it's amazing. And of course I had to keep this pure <laughs> so I could show you guys. Um, and so I haven't had a chance to actually use it yet, which is ridiculous because that's what I bought it for. And I mean, it's like been so long that I'm actually like on some pills that help me control my anxiety. So I'm doing a lot better, but I still want to do this because there's still some days where it's like, I could really use some help. So this one is Moodlet Zen Master says, stop procrastinating, just draw something. You've got 15 seconds from now and then you just go. So let's look at another one. Moodle your way out of your stress maze. And I guess it's just amazing you just moodle your way out of. I'm not sure what this one is. Let's see, is there something on the other page? Um, take some time for you. Turn this page into a do not disturb sign. Oh, and then you can like cut it out. That's why there's nothing on the other side. I would probably just draw it and leave it in there. Um, focus your mind. Keep drawing circles until you achieve the perfect sphere and true enlightenment. Let's see here. Create a calming atmosphere. Moodle some flickering candles giving off a warm glow, which is perfect for me because I want to get into the candle business, so that'll be interesting. Um, and one last page. Ahoy there. Moodle all of your stress onto this jolly little boat and then let it sail away. Oh, that's so cute. So you, you put all your stressful stuff here and then I guess you, sorry, I didn't hit that. I guess you cut it out. Put it into a little, or fold it into a boat, and then send it on its merry little way. Very cute. Oh, and it even tells you how to fold it into a boat on the next page. That, that's cute. And uh, let's see, what's this one? Simplify your life. Draw the same Moodle six times using one less line each. Oh, that'll be interesting. I'm so excited to get on this. Let's see here. All. All Moodles complete and wisdom absorbed. You will by now be completely distressed and all tension will have been relieved. Perhaps you are even floating on a higher mental plane, unable to recall what had stressed you out in the first place. You may feel lightheaded. You may feel far away. Take your time coming back to reality. Sip some water and bask in your calm and euphoric state. 
Okay. <laughs> so yeah, there's that. And then they have a Moodle's book for Happy and a Moodle's book for Grumpy. I have the Happy one. Let's see, are, are there any more? No, they just have stressed, grumpy, and happy. I may have to try to track down grumpy because we all know I have my grumpy days. <laughs> so happy is more of the same. Um, Moodlet a flamboyance of flamingos. Want to be treated like a national treasure? Draw your face on this stamp. Let's see here, what's this one? Tag this wall. Oh, that'll be cool. Hooray, you've won a prize. What's it for? And you put it in there. It's your pizza. It's your choice. Moodle your favorite toppings. And set all the clocks to Sunday morning. And snooze. <laughs> That's cute. Um, supplement your life. Moodle your moodle little happy faces on each of these multivitamins. Very cute. What's this? Moodle your name really enthusiastically. Oh, that'll be fun. Hide 20 miniature grinning frogs on other pages of this book. Oh, that's cute. Moodle yourself as a superstar. Okay. Moodle your favorite view so that you can take some time to enjoy the view whenever you have a spare moment. Moment? Minute? Minute. That's cute! Let's see, are anything there? No. You're a superhuman. How much can you balance on your pinky? Oh, that's cute. And let's see what it says at the end. All Moodles complete and wisdom absorbed. You will now have reached a state of, com of complete and utter happiness. You may well be fl floating on a higher mental plane Radiating love, zen and light, and if you ever come down again, simply revisit the page of this book to top off your happiness. Oh, pages of this book to top off your happiness. That's cute. I keep hitting the camera, I'm sorry. I want to see if I can get Grumpy. I did not see Grumpy at five below. But I'm sure Grumpy is out there somewhere. Who makes these books? I feel like it's going to be Piccadilly. No, no, no. It's, uh... It's Paragon. Oh, and um, last time I said Piccadilly was like probably a five below thing, but it's not. Like you can get it at Amazon, you can get it at Walmart, you can get it at um, uh, Barnes and Noble. So it's just a publishing company. So we got those two done. The next one I want to show you was this Rip It, Write It, Draw It. 192 pages of fun and creative tasks to complete. I'll just randomly pick a page. Take a photo of your journal and then tape of the photo to this page. Draw what? Draw lightning bolts around all sides. Okay. Place coins. It's not focusing. Focus. 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 I want to focus before I read it. I guess it's kind of focus there. Place coins under this page and make a cool pattern, then shade over them with a pencil. Okay. Um, let's see here. Write a table of contents for your life here. Oh, that'll be interesting. Um, let's see here. Make a scratch and sniff page here. Hmm. Okay. Not sure I'll do that. Take these pages on a run or walk. Document the journey, including how far you went, what you listened to, and the scenery. Okay. These pages need to be read. Be creative, and you may not use a pen, pencil, marker, chalk, or paint. Alrighty. <laughs> Let's see here. What's this? Make these pages futuristic. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Do something with sponges on these pages. And then we'll pop to the end. Write the end in red. Then list three activities you wish you'd done with this journal. And that's the back. That's the back. That's the front. So I'm curious about doing this. And this is this one's kind of in the same vein, except it's collage this journal. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna collage this or do something different. Or even maybe get rid of this book and like either donate it or sell it or something. 
Um, I'm not really a collage person, but that's a challenge, right? So create falling leaf shapes of things you want to leave behind. Uh, let's see, what else? What is this one? Create your own family tree, and then there's you. And you make your own tree. Like, some of these things I could draw. I don't know, I guess I could technically draw the whole thing. Collage a home video of your happiest memories. I mean, I could draw, like, the whole thing and then just collage it on here. That's the whole thing. I just, I'm, I, I don't really have great access to, like, pictures and stuff, so it's like, what can I do instead? What nourishes you? And you can, like, definitely, like, draw on different things and collage it on here. Um, what hand have you been dealt? So, yeah, I think there's still a lot of potential for drawing in here. Who or what do you wish you were clo what you wish was closer to you? Okay, and then, like, you put it inside the binoculars. So, that's a cool idea. Collage secret things on these pages and then sew them shut. Oh, that would be cute. Okay. Use photos to document how you have changed over time. Yeah, I, I might be able to still do this. So is there anything, like, exciting at the end? Okay. Thank you so, so, so much. To my... Oh, okay. This is just her thanks or his thanks. I'm not sure who, who wrote this. Eleanor Shakespeare? Yeah, interesting name. So, yeah, that's just like a thank you. I thought there was going to be like something enlightening at the end. But at the end, there's what do you see through the keyhole? And then here's the keyhole. And that's about it. I thought it was interesting. It almost felt like a reckless journal kind of deal, and I guess it still kind of is. So, we'll see. Um, the next book I got, and it's $5, right? is sketching made easy i love the little reflectiveness sorry about the whistling you know how it is here um there's like i think 64 different kind of um things you can do in this book and it basically it basically teaches you like if you don't know how to draw it basically teaches you the um the kind of like bare essentials of how to get started like first you draw the outline and then you fill it in with some details and then you fill it in with more details and there you go you got bees and clover let's see what else I keep hitting the camera i'm so sorry drawing a pig with a single line and with the eyes closed and then you know you just start off with like a little like rectangle shape that's divided into threes you fill out the different sections you start erasing the outlines filling in more details as you go and eventually you'll end up with a piggy so I mean I thought these were really interesting um and then the thing is like you can find um books like this similar online for like free they're sketching made easy-ish kind of books um if I figure out what it was, uh, there's two of them that I've downloaded that were um, Creative Commons, like, like, uh, oh, what am I thinking? Public domain. There we go. That's what I meant. Um, that are similar in their public domain that you could uh, download a PDF and you wouldn't have to like buy the book. Um, I want to say this is really similar. And it might be because like it's public domain so anyone can just grab it and repackage it and say it's theirs you know but like it teaches you how to make children and houses i'm loving this I'm, i can't wait to try it i really can't um teaches you about faces how to put a cap on a head uh, stick people. I mean, believe it or not, I can make some really gnarly stick people. How to, like, build or draw an airplane. Um, an aid in drawing ovals. There you go. Uh, an uncertain way of measuring. So it kind of helps you with perspective. Methods of beginning the shading. This teaches you how to do some shading. You know, learning about light and whatnot. 
Yeah, and then you get some uh, practice sheets at the end for just free form. And this one is by Piccadilly. And looking for more, it tells you the list of books that you can go out there and grab by Piccadilly that that you could use. There was one that I saw that said write my top ten. I saw that at um at five below, but it wasn't really something I was interested in. It's, it, I feel like it was more for um, teenagers or young adults. It really wasn't for me. And then I left this one up. <laughs> I saw this. This was the only one that was in good condition at my store. And it's uh, basically uh, you're going to get where you could draw fashion stuff. I love the idea of draw, drawing fashion stuff. Like I, I told myself, I just want to learn how to, like I learned how to crochet to make amigurumi. Amigurumi. <laughs> And I want to learn how to draw just so I can draw fashion designs. That's it. That's all I want to do. Like, that, that would be what I want. <laughs> that would be my jam. <coughs> Excuse me. So this book is cute because you have different genders. You have different races. Um, you have a little bit of info about each model. And that helps you draw um, fashions for them. And then they give you little fashion tips here and there throughout the book. Like... These lovely little shorts are perfect for lazy summer days. Brighten up a casual outfit by adding bright accessories like these neon bangles. So, you know, it's like, it, it, it gives the little, like, artist out there, or the bigger artist, <laughs> some tips on how to, like, you know, dress things up. And then, after they give you the tips and all, they give you a suggestion on how to use the croquis in the book and then the rest of the book is just a whole bunch of different shaped croquis. I think I'm saying it right. Um, and like it has like different races and I love how on the back of each page it's blank. So you can use markers. Um, if you want to try watercolor I guess it's probably going to warp the page because um, let me try to separate. Like, this is just printer paper, basically. But, you know, because it doesn't have anything on the back, you could try it. You might want to, like, remove the page. I think these are perforated. Let me see. I'm trying to... I'm sorry. I'm trying to get the light. No, no, they're not perforated. But you can easily fold them out and trim the edges. And then, you know, you either can fold the book over, where this page is just on the table, if you want to use watercolor or an even markers or because you know it probably will bleed through so either put something in between the pages so it doesn't bleed onto this or just put just this page on the table with something protective underneath to do watercolors and markers and stuff i will probably just strictly use um color pencils because that's my jam might one day try crayon um, I've never been a big huge fan of crayons, but I may try it one day. So that's basically what the rest of the book is. I mean, they give you a lot of these to draw on, and then at the end it's it's more pictures of the models, because like at the beginning of the book they give you other pictures of the models, and then this is the back, and I got this for $5 at um, Five Below. Um, make sure that you look at the binding because um, it's it's like it's like the middle ones that have like the loops at the end that bend and they're like tucked in and then like people have been like ripping them out and so it doesn't look nice and like you have to bend it back so be wary of that and this is the last one this one I got for five dollars as well um, I know there was a pink one that you could get once but uh, I heard that the binding was horrible and the pages started falling out and I just didn't want to I, had, I would have had to order it and I just didn't want to risk getting a book that was like torn apart and missing pages and so I didn't want to have to go through the hassle of returning it and whatnot but I found this one at Five Below in town so I was like okay I'll grab it and it was the only one they had so I was like let me grab it so this one gives you like little different things you could do like drawing hats um geometric patterns you can like color them or create your own ideas um let's see here space rocket teaches you how to make one Whoop. i know i'm going backwards i always do that with books 
skateboard, teach you how to make your own design on skateboards. Alien invasions. I'm hoping that scratching is not horrible to you guys. Uh, electric guitar. Just a lot of like different things you can draw. And it tells you basically the skills on how to do that. So we got a funky cake going on here this way. Oh, that is really cool. That'd be my kind of cake. Just the design and the colors. How to make a uh, Ferris wheel. A crocodile. Let's see here. A volcano. And it gives you ideas and tips on how to do that. This is just really cool. And then how to make a haunted house. I mean, like, they, they break it down for you. Like the shapes, the basic shapes, and how you add details. I really look forward to trying that one. So, yeah, that is this one. And I've always wanted to try one of these books because it looked interesting. And I'm trying to learn how to draw. Like, I have a book that I'm using called Drawing on the Right Side of Your Brain. And I just, um,. I was starting it and then I never finished it, sadly. <laughs> but I want to go back and work on it some more. And I really do want to learn how to draw. That's a skill that I'm just really wanting to learn. So that's a goal for next year is to finally learn how to draw. I know it's a skill that anybody can learn and you just have to nurture it and keep going. So that's my goal. But uh, yeah, these are some books you can pick up at Five Below. Also check their website. Um, I explained in my previous video how buying from their website works. So go ahead and check out that video if you're curious how that works. It's pretty simple and pretty easy and pretty painless. <laughs> and um, yeah, uh, I, I think it's a great place to pick up some inexpensive books. Also check out um, the Dollar Tree too if you're looking for some good books. Um, they've been stepping up their game. Like, do I have it with me? Oh, yes, I do. You're about to hear some noise because I have a lot of stuff stacked up here that I've been meaning to uh, open for you guys. Uh, here's another, since we're talking about drawing. Let me move this real quick. This video's getting long, I know. Uh, let me move it. Here we go. I got this from Dollar Tree. And it's like super expensive on Amazon, but it's like pet portraits. And... Uh, I mean, it teaches you, like, it gives you ideas about coloring the fur in and, you know, sketching it out. And then the final look that you can get. Yes, I'm going backwards again. Um, and I think this is more like, because uh, I know there's a bigger version of this book that you can get. Because my mom has it. She has this and the bigger version. So this is kind of like, I think, a companion to that. But still, it gives you a lot of details. And then the bigger version has uh, these items sketched out on tracing paper that you can use. I mean, look at that cat, and that is drawn. What is it? Does it say what it was used? Um, they used paint for this one. But you can, like, use any medium. This teaches you how to use any kind of, like, you know, painting, drawing, whatever. And that's, like, how they started it out. And I got this for a dollar. I've gotten several craft books um, for a dollar from the Dollar Tree. So be sure to check them out. Check out their book sections because um, they are stepping up their book game. So I know that that shouldn't have been part of this, but I probably wasn't going to like do a single video about this. So there you go. That's a little extra for you. So uh, I am professional. I'll just slip this in here and leave it. You know, let's look at the dog. This dog actually looks like one of my dogs, Amy. <laughs> uh, so yeah, that's it, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Oh, you see the light over here? No, we shouldn't show you that. <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you'll come back for my next video, which I don't know what it'll be, but I promise you'll be entertaining. Um, and yeah, I've just, I've just really been enjoying these casual videos. I know you hear noise in the background, like cars and stuff, but it's just my window's open. I'm just trying to enjoy the cool breeze and whatnot so <laughs> so i hope you enjoyed these casual videos i hope they're not too annoying will i ever get more professional who knows maybe maybe not i'm kind of enjoying just being casual 
because that's just how I am. I just feel like we're just sitting down shooting the breeze. And that's how I kind of always want this channel to be, that we're just forming a community where we can just easily come in and out and say, hey, how are you today? So how are you guys today? <laughs> I'm doing great. So yeah, thank you guys again for joining me and I will see you in the next video. And as always, I hope you all have a magical, wonderful, splendiferous day. Bye guys.